likes to do that too. Because in real life he can't act like porn. There are only two things in John's life. Whom he cares about. Firstly his body, for which, he goes to the gym every day. Then his house which he cleans with his own hands. John works as a bartender. That's why he doesn't have much trouble in impressing new girls. Every time he brings a new girl to his house. And gets intimate with them. But John enjoys watching porn and masturbating more. Now as usual, John meets with his friends to impress a new girl. And judge by the number by looking at all the girls together. He sees a beautiful girl named Barbara. Which gives him the number 10. And John turns to her. And they both dance. John then tries to seduce Barbara. And one asks about the nightstand. Barbara is not that girl. And she refuses and goes home. So John later brings another girl to his house. And then he gets intimate with her. Even after getting intimate, John watches porn on his laptop at night. And then masturbates. They say that porn is better than sex. And whatever is shown in porn, they are not in real life. Well the next day John goes to church. And then confesses. Who got intimate with two girls this week. And he has watched porn 17 times. After this John starts having lunch with his family. Or his father gets into a dispute with him. The same sister is always engaged in mobile doesn't say anything else and then his mother tells John there. Seeing a good girl, she should make her his life partner. That night John watches porn again. And to find the right video, it takes him 2 AM. The next morning a friend of John comes to visit him. So John tells her. That he liked that red dress girl very much but doesn't know her name yet. John goes to the same bar and asks about the girl. So he learns that the girl's name is Barbara. He then finds her on Facebook. And from there John invites Barbara for lunch. The next day Barbara comes to visit him. And asks. Where did he get his Facebook ID when he didn't even reveal his name? John initially makes excuses, but later tells the truth. Barbara also likes him. And she takes him to see a romantic movie. But John doesn't like to watch movies at all. Because they used to think that movies are for children. Barbara likes this movie very much. And then after that whatever both of them do and Barbara goes to her house. Now John goes to church and confesses. This week he kissed only one girl. And he has watched porn 22 times. John then goes on a date with Barbara again. And tries to be intimate with her. But Barbara wanted to build a serious relationship with him. So she tells him that she wants to meet her friends and family. Also Barbara asks him to take a night class. Due to which he leaves the job of bartender and does some kind of work and then John also agrees to everything about him. And then that night he masturbates after seeing pictures of Barbara. By which we know it. That he wants to be intimate with Barbara. And he probably doesn't love her. After this several days pass. And John is able to reunite Barbara with his friends. And he also meets Barbara's friend. It's been a month since their relationship, but Barbara still doesn't let John get intimate with her. John also tells his family. He falls in love with a girl named Barbara. And his mother is very happy to hear this. And one day, during John's class, Barbara calls him. And says she is coming to her house tonight. And John is overjoyed to know that. Because eventually John was going to be intimate with her. In class, John meets a girl named Esther crying. But John ignores her. And after going home, he finally got intimate with Barbara for the first time. But as always, John doesn't have as much fun. Starts watching porn again at night. But while doing so, Barbara catches him. And she is very shocked. And gets angry at John and starts leaving him. Seeing this, John makes excuses. That this video was sent by his friend. And he was watching this video just like that. Promise from now on that he will never appear in porn. And hearing this, Barbara stops. But despite all this, John continues to watch porn. Now because Barbara used to visit his house. So John starts watching porn on his mobile. But one day in class a girl named Esther sees him while watching porn. She comes to him and tries to talk to him. But John ignores him. John then takes Barbara to meet his family. And his mother also likes him very much. Barbara also goes to church with John. Where John confesses. With the father that he has been intimate seven times this week, but he hasn't watched porn even once in this entire week. Then the same day, outside of class, Esther gives John an adult book and says that maybe it will come in handy for him. John says he doesn't need it. Because he has a girlfriend. And he doesn't like watching porn. 
A few days later, John goes shopping with Barbara. And John tells her. That's when she has to buy some things to clean the house and that's when Barbara finds out. That John himself cleans his house. So she gets angry again. And they say that this work is not theirs. Belongs to a housekeeper. Because she must stop cleaning the house now, John tries to convince her. That he likes to clean his house in it. And he has no shame in doing so. But Barbara says it doesn't matter to her. And John himself will not do the cleaning work from today. And under compulsion, John has to obey her. That evening, Esther asks John for notes in class. And then she starts asking about his family and girlfriend. But John gets angry hearing this. And he snatches her note and leaves from there. After that he goes to his home. Where Barbara was sitting angry with John about something. She tells John. That you lied to me, I have checked your browser history. And you haven't stopped watching porn yet. Actually John had not deleted his browser history till date because he thought that Barbara would not check his private things. John tries to convince her. Watching porn is normal. And there's nothing wrong with that. And watching porn and watching movies are the same thing. Hearing this, says Barbara. That movie and porn are different things. John calls her sorry. But she does not listen to him and breaks up with him and leaves from there. But Barbara go. Even after that he does not improve and he starts watching more porn. But he seems to find this single life better. Because he can do whatever he wants. And there is no one to interrupt him. John spends some of his days like this. He goes to the bar at night. And tells his friends. That he has left Barbara. A girl falls in his eyes. And he also gets intimate with her by bringing her to his house. While driving the next day, John gets angry at the driver in front of him without talking to him. And also breaks the glass of his car. After that he goes to church. And holds a conference with the father. Don't know why today he got so angry that he broke the car window and this week he also watched porn 35 times. After confessing, John goes to have lunch with his family. But he doesn't tell them that he and Barbara have broken up. After going home he starts watching porn again. Just then John's friend Bobby comes to their house. Initially John asked her to leave from there. And says that she is busy but Bobby still comes inside the house. And asks why he broke a boy's car window and how he and Barbara broke up. John tells that he caught her watching porn. And broke. Hearing this, Bobby could not believe that he had left John for such a small matter. After this John goes to class. And after class John meets Esther. And then both of them also got intimate in their car. After getting intimate, John tells Esther about Barbara as well. Esther asks him what was the day he didn't watch porn and if he ever thought about giving it up. John says. That he does not remember, but he can stop himself whenever he wants, he is not addicted. And so he watches porn. Because he likes it so much. Esther asks. Can you masturbate without watching porn and then the next day John tries not to watch porn. And in that he finds it very difficult. And then that evening John meets Esther. And they both go to his house. John tells Esther. That he hasn't watched porn this week. But he could not even masturbate. Where he also admitted that he was addicted to porn. Esther explains to him. That's why he likes porn. Because he never tried to understand his partner and he always kept thinking about his fun. Esther then tells John. That both should take a bath together. But when Esther goes to get her towel. Then Esther starts crying. John comes to the bath. And asks Esther. Why does she always cry? But Esther says that about one year ago her husband and son died in a car accident. Whose Esther is still sad. And then after that both John and Esther are intimate. And this time John is having a lot of fun. And this realization never happened to him and then from now on John completely stops watching porn. And now he doesn't get angry over small things. He goes to church and makes a confession. That last week he lied that he didn't watch porn but this time he actually did. Then John also tells his family during lunch. That he has broken up with Barbara. And hearing this, his family members get very angry with him, but his sister supports him and says. That Barbara was not a good girl. She wanted a guy who would listen to her and molest her, but because of this Barbara didn't deserve John and then John is overjoyed to hear this. That his sister is next to him. A few days later, John meets Barbara. And apologizes to him. To hide talk about porn. Barbara says that the only thing she asked from him was that he failed. John says this. That he had asked for a lot from him and that he wants to live his life as per his wish. And then Barbara leaves.